Everybody, Seth Davis here for SI.com, giving you all of my conference breakdowns heading into the 2013-14 college basketball season. Today, we take a closer look at the Pac-12. As we all know, this league has been pretty down the last few years, but it is clearly right now on an upswing. The talent is better. We've got fresh faces in Los Angeles. Andy Enfield takes over at USC. Steve Alford takes over at UCLA. The Pac-12 is clearly better than it's been top to bottom in quite some time. The best team in the Pac-12 heading into the season is clearly Arizona. They have one of the best, if not the best, freshmen in the country in 6'9 forward Aaron Gordon. He's extremely athletic and skilled, kind of reminds me of Grant Hill, the way that he carries himself, and he makes a terrific front line down in Tucson next to the sophomores Brandon Ashley and Caleb Tarzewski. Sean Miller also brought in a new point guard, TJ McConnell, who transferred into Duquesne. He's a true, pure point guard who will really set the table in the Arizona offense. Lots of terrific defensive players, lots of talent, lots of speed in Tucson, and that's why Arizona is clearly the team to beat in this league. My player to watch in the Pac-12 might surprise you. I'm going with Tony Parker, the 6'9 sophomore power forward at UCLA. Parker had kind of a disappointing freshman season. He came in overweight and out of shape, but he has done a terrific job with his body in the offseason. Lost about 25 or 30 pounds. He's chiseled. He's in shape. He's going to be very active in terms of his defense, rebounding, shot blocking. If he can turn into the kind of scorer, which I think that he's capable of being, UCLA is going to be awfully hard to beat. My dark horse pick in the Pac-12 is Washington. Yes, the Huskies had a tough season last year. They did not make the NCAA tournament. Lorenzo Romar turned over his entire coaching staff, signaling a fresh start. He's got one of the best players in the Pac-12 in 6'5", senior guard C.J. Wilcox, and he's brought in a slew of newcomers headed by Nigel Williams-Goss. He is a freshman All-American who is a big 6'4", pure pass first point guard. I think he's the perfect point guard to get Washington back up and running. So that's my look at the Pac-12. Hasn't been much to look at the last few years, but believe me, there's going to be some great basketball being played out west. And for all of your Pac-12 coverage, all of your college basketball coverage, keep it right here on SI.com all season long.